All right. So first step to get started is you will want to modify the saw blade because generally when they come, they come with these little mandrills. Unfortunately, our saw blade uh, motor, this shaft won't go into that shaft. They're both solid. So you have to get rid of this shaft. So now how I did it is I took it down to a machining lab. I used a lathe to part off this whole shaft or you can mill it, whatever works for you. You'll also want to drill a hole through it big enough so that this can barely fit inside it. So when you're done, it should look something like this. So as you can see, I've taken the shaft off and drilled a hole through it. And so this hole is just big enough so that it can fit on there pretty snug. You can also use super glue to solidify it um, when you get it all right. But we're not ready for that yet. First, we have to do a little bit of waterproofing to this DC motor before we go any further. So to do that, you'll want to take your electrical tape and put it all over the outside of this motor. When you're done, it should look something like this. You'll also want to modify your film canister. To do that, if you have a power drill, great. For me, I just used a simple little knife um, to carve out little holes in both ends of the canister. So they'll go on like that. These holes have to be just big enough so that this motor shaft can fit right down there. And so if I can get that through, I'll just poke through like so. And then the leads can go out the other end. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get them through. But there's your black one. There's your red one. All right, so we got that, the basic gist of it. Now what we'll need to do to, con to finish waterproofing it is to basically fill the rest of this with toilet bowl wax. Now before you insert it through this hole for your final time, you will want to put a little bit around the edges, make sure it's nice and snug. To prevent getting toilet bowl wax all over your fingers, you'll want to use some protective equipment such as latex gloves. In my case, sandwich bags work great. So you'll just take one of these in your hand. Mm. And away you go. All right, so now that you've finished uh, putting the toilet bowl wax in that canister, it should look something kind of like this. Now I've also gone one step further and I've taken that modified mandrel and I've stuck it on the spindle. And so all I've done is I put it on and then I put a little bit of super glue, you can kind of see some of it hanging out there, and I put that on there so that this will spin with the spindle and not and not slip at all. Now we need to test it because when we put this on, the saw blade, it has to be spinning the right way. These blades, as you can see here, the sharp point has to be digging into the material, so it has to spin this way. Right? So, we need to test that. So I have that ready here, but that means we have to set up the electricity part of this. So to do that, we take our power supply, in this case my super cool converter, DDL, plug that in. Okay, so that's ready to go. And we'll set that down for a little bit. And before we get to that, we also have to set up our switch. This will make it very convenient for us to turn on and off, obviously. Um, and so to do that, to attach this to that, and then to our power source, we have to use our alligator clips. And we all know how to use alligator clips. Simply stick red through red and through this part 
and wrap the copper wire around the metal screw there. At, at least enough so that contact is established. And you can help with that in there. Screw that on. That's set. We'll do the same for the next one. Pass that around. Like so. Okay. Not too bad, right? Now, normally, if you're going to use this on a super submersible, um, which it is intended to do, you will want to have some sort of long cord that you can uh, solder onto these wires and then onto the switch. So that's ultimately the goal. But for now, I'm just going to show you how to simply do the connection just with what we have. So we're going to take the, the positive lead, stick it on either of these, and then we'll take the positive lead of this, stick it on here like so, make this sure the switch is off. There, again, just ensuring contact, and screw this screw on. Easy enough, right? And we'll take the black negative and this negative, ground them together. So now, we can use our switch. Okay, so we can see that it's going. That's fine. All right, so now we're just gonna pick a direction, hopefully it's right, and we will, make sure this doesn't fall on the table, and we'll put this screw in there with the washer and everything. And you'll probably have to hold that because otherwise it'll spin and whatnot. You might need some vice grips of some sort, just simple pliers to hold that steady and then you can tighten it really well. Like so. All right, so now we gotta put it here. Let's spin it, see if it works. Yep, so that's spinning the right way. You might not be able to tell on the camera, but it's spinning the right way. So now that we've established that, we are good to go.